uh, Ramiza, no, not always been here. Because there seems to be like a family house to me. Oh, yes. And they, uh, they are part of the group. The last time I came here was, I think I shot a movie called The Lara Ugo. The Lara Ugo, yes. Yeah, Conversiousness. Yes, yeah. Conversiousness. So how, how, how did the movie do? Um, it did well, though I don't know. I just sold it outright. Oh, okay. But okay. it did well, yeah. It did well. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let me formally introduce you to our viewers. Um, you are Ibrahim Maru, um, the thespian, an actor, a movie producer, a writer, mm -hmm. a skit maker. Am I? Am I? Yeah, very am well. I in order? Um, very what well. else didn't, didn't I include? Yeah, I direct as well. Okay, you direct. I direct as Fantastic. well. Yeah. Fantastic. So, um, tell us about your new project, Untold. How did you get the inspiration to put that story together? I have seen the trailer and it's absolutely fantastic. How did you get the inspiration to, to put the story together? Um, well, all thanks to Almighty Allah, because he's the master of our inspiration. He manifests to us, he gives us a picture, we try to bring it together. Mm. I think it was last year, while I was filming in a lot of go, and some of my fans on social media just ask, oh, when am I giving them a crime and action movie, a crime and action crime? Because they always see the way I participate in other people's crime movie. So they personally demand, oh, I should give them something they can get action. Because my first movie was um, comedy. That was The Boss, Olorioko. So the second one was Emotional, which is Ilarogo. So this on told, he has a, a tell side story of my life personally yeah aside from the story itself it gives some details about my childhood and everything that goes around with it so it's more like my story mm. yeah it's more like my story mm. Mm. yeah tell us a bit about the storyline just snippets of the story yeah. um uh, untold is basically about um it based on a single mother that's where the whole issue started why she was young she had um she fell in love with two different kind of guy at the time okay um a low an average man per se and a thug mm -hmm. so eventually she never knew who really owns the baby mm -hmm. in question so as time goes the son started growing so when he started me trying to seek for survivor things were not working fine for him so mm -hmm. anytime you always have a nightmare of getting rich you always mm -hmm. rich in the nightmare mm -hmm. of, and when he wakes up still on the same way he was so he tried to make some consultation that oh why things are not working the way it should then he consulted his person the person made him realize that the father we think it was wasn't the father mm. that the father need to say something that has to do with the boy future basically i'm just letting people know you know we we human we always believe that is the mother prayer only Okay. It's only mother prayer, that mother works, prayer, mother prayer that child. works. Yeah. So when you grow up with your mom, it doesn't matter who your father is. So I was just letting people know: the more you know how vital the mother prayer is, same thing works for you with your father. It doesn't matter who he is; he might not be responsible. So that is what I was letting people know. If everybody knows mother prayer, mother prayer. When they say, "Okay, you need your parents to pray for mm. you," mm. everybody always thinks it's your mother, 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 mother. Mm. It doesn't go time like that. Mm. Sometimes the father prayer matters a lot mm. too, and they play key roles in this movie. And unfortunately, the guy in question doesn't get the opportunity to get the father prayer mm. because the father has some issues with some top men. Then, so on the period of him seeking that father's prayer the mother decided okay let me swallow my pride let me take you to your father because this has to do with your future now you need to do well for your future mm. that same day there's an attack in that city where the father where the biological father was so he was unable to receive that father prayer mm. so that changed him to another human being entirely mm. then he go to goes seek for revenge mm. live some kind of life so that's mm, the yeah. story behind Untold. Yeah. How, how long um, did it take you to shoot the movie? Um, it's seven days a week, yeah. 
it was a week okay. after a two or three months preparation okay. oh it's not two months though because i need to drill myself mm, mm, mm. in terms of my stature because i, I noticed that you had to uh, do bodybuilding yeah, you had to go yeah. to the gym yeah i spent 18 room. months in the gym yes 18 in, months yeah in the gym mm. just to put myself in the shape that will interpret the character mm. i was portraying you played the role of uh, the son What's yeah the, the, son, the son yeah um the son is coyote Okay. But when it goes to other life, it changes to Capesto. Okay. And the Capesto is very brutal, mm, mm. anxious, desperate. Mm. So that's it. Mm. It's it clearly must have cost you a lot of money. Yeah. I think it's possibly your biggest uh, budget movie yet. How are you able to raise funds? How are uh, you able to you know, put the funds together? Uh, the honestly, it's the biggest I've done so far. Yeah, it's the biggest and mm -hmm. it's very, very challenging physically, mentally, financially. Mm -hmm. All of it has to play. I remember when I had a screenplay with my team, I was telling them what I want. Oh, there's this particular scene in that movie. It's so emotional when the mother died. Okay. So I was telling my team that, oh, in this scene, uh, we always watch them when in a the, the music video, maybe an R and B when they are singing again we fell and all. Okay. So I told my team that I need rain in this scene. Mm. And it's very dry season. We shot it in May. Mm. So rain was not even that. <laughs> so I told them I need rain. They were like, oh, this is another problem. And um we try, we write a letter to a different kind of thing because some of the location in that movie were so so special because we are trying to bring the movie close to you because mm. it's a real life story mm. so we can improvise if we want to but mm. sometimes it will give you the kind of feelings for the actors and actors on the set but when you put them in a certain location that interprets the scene alone mm. there's some glamour you get from mm. it but told it it drews me a lot <laughs> financially, yeah. Um, thank God for life. Though I have to dispose some of my thing, and I really get some little, little help with people around me. Mm -hmm. So with them and my team, we're able to deliver the job. Mm -hmm. That's great. How about the, 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 the fact that the movie stars started? it? How were you, you know, able to bring in so many stars? Um, uh, starting from Antalani or uh, Mogaji, um, Yomi Fash, well, yeah, Yomi, Yomi Fash, uh, the Yugo guy, Kevin Ikeduba, Kevin Ikeduba, uh, Jumoke, mm -hmm. you know, a whole lot of them. How are you able to, you know, bring them together? And that's that's a lot in terms of sorting out artist fees. Um, I'm a kind of person. If a story comes to my mind. Before I even write the words on that story, mm. before I pen it down, I script it, I would have picked up my cast already. It doesn't matter how available they are. I know what I want. Mm. I will give you a list of it. If I didn't get this so, 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 this is an option for me. Even before I scripted it. And when I was writing on told, because I think I wrote it a day. Yeah, the screenplay was done overnight. Mm. Doing fasting, yeah, mm. it was Ramadan. So I was on set too. So a friend of mine just called and said, okay, don't worry, I want to do the screenplay today. While I was doing the screenplay, I've pictured all my cast. I remember my friend, uh, my friend is my is the director of the movie. When I was telling him, oh, this is the cast, I was like, ah, hmm. are you sure? Because aside from the um, financial status then, no matter how much you want to pay them, this kind of actor, they will tell you, what's this story? Narrate it for me. Uh, no, I'm not interested. Mm. They would no matter how much you offer them in likes of uh, Yomi Fash, Anta, and Anti, uh, all, mm. all those were actors that you can't just replace them with your money. They want to know the story, they want to know how real it, it is. Mm. They want to know is this just an imagination? Is this a real life story? Mm. So, I believe when I, the first day I talked to Yomi Fash, he was like, What story is it? He said, No, my PM shouldn't talk to him, he should let me talk to him directly he asked some question then he started questioning me say why 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 i keep answering him then he was like oh 
I'm interested in the movie already. Mm. What is your date? I give him my date and he said, okay, you work with me. Same thing with Anta. Mm. And Auntie Ayo. Because that was a scene of that uh, Auntie Ayo Mogadi and uh, Ayomi Fash. Okay. Because the rain has to rain on them. Mm. And we know the weather was kind of, it's not friendly that day. Mm. So they just have to let it happen. We shot that scene. When we shot that scene, then Auntie Ayo Mogadi grabbed me on my head was like, ha. Ah, you pick me to another level because mm -hmm. she has never done something no not that she hasn't played rules of a mother but to this extreme end mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. everything just go according to plan though it wasn't easy but mm -hmm. glory be to god mm -hmm. that's 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 so good to, to hear that's so good to hear. so what's the stage of the um the project now what stage are you in the movie uh, currently, I think it's 10 over 10, 100 over 100. Mm. Everything has been put in on place, soundtrack, subtitle, everything has been put in on place. But the status now is I'm in talk with my distribution partners. Okay. Though they were going to because they have to preview it to let it know the quality and the way we can put it. Hopefully, anytime soon, we'll get a good news from them. It's perfect. Yeah. It's based on the distribution stuff to know where we're going to see it nationwide or worldwide, hopefully. Mm. Talking about the quality, you just mentioned that now. I, f my first glance of the trailer, the first thing that jumped at me was the quality of of of, of the movie, technical quality. You know, you it's clear that you had it at the back of your mind that you needed to meet the standards of the best movies currently. You know, in the market. How expensive was it for you to be able to? Because of course it's money. How expensive was it for you to bring all of that together, getting the right director, getting the right equipment? Um, from my first job, if I could remember, I am a very kind of person. I criticize movie a lot because I'm not acting because I'm an actor. Mm. I'm acting because this is what I am. This is what I have. Like my mentor always says, you have to do every job as if it's your last job. It doesn't matter who is recording. It doesn't matter who the audience is. You just have to know that this thing you are doing right now can speak for you in the next 20 yeah. or 40 years. Yeah. So you have to do it well. So before me, I would say I want to um, shoot a movie. First thing first is my equipment. I don't even compromise that a lot. Yeah. No. The camera i want to use the sound everything i always it doesn't matter even if it's just 15 or 20 minutes movie i have mm -hmm. to use the best camera mm -hmm. because i want to see back maybe in my late 70s or 80s and see the movie i'll be like wow this is what i did 50 or 20 years ago mm -hmm. the picture is still there mm -hmm. because i'm i always shot my movie in a 4k or 6k so in the next 20 30 years you can still meet the picture mm -hmm. level there that's so that's why i always go extreme because mm -hmm. i just want to look back and say oh this is what I did. This is what I did. Fantastic. But it wasn't easy though. <laughs> every every equipment from the lighting to the camera, I can say is a cinema standard, standard camera. Yeah. Because okay. okay. it's black magic. Mm. Red. So we give everything we need. Mm. Who, who, who are the um, established names, the big names in the industry that inspire you as an actor? And who are those that inspire you? As a director, um, cause as an actor, I have a lot of wonderful people, so I don't just want anybody to feel offended. <laughs> so, but I would say I was so fortunate um, to come across um, Mr. Ibrahim Abiyomi Shaka, because even before I met met him at all, he has been a role model for me mm. because. He puts everything on the line. There was this movie I saw when he when he filmed. He has to fast uh, fast for almost. I think it's forty days, if it's not more than that, because he want to play a role of an um, a character that contacted HIV. Mm. So he drew himself to some extent. When he raised his hand, you will be seeing his bone. Yeah. Mm. So when he, when someone in that age with that kind of reputation he set for himself and he's still going extra miles just to let people ask the clear picture of the character he's playing mm. he always inspired me a lot a lot mm. and even when he's doing his own job 
is the kind of person that doesn't say, oh, let's go, let's go, let's do it like that. No. If you don't have it, you don't have it. Everybody can go, go back to your hotel. We'll come again tomorrow. So he doesn't settle for less. And while I returned to the industry, I was so blessed to meet him in person. No intermediary, no, mm. no middle person. We just met on the location. And when he saw me, I was eager to get a picture. He said, no, 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 don't worry. We have a lot to do together. Mm -hmm. That's the first statement he made to me. Mm. That's Brian Chatter. Yeah. He said, we have a lot to do together. Since that, from that location, we were on tour for three months. From that location. He never knew me from Adam. So he just asked the director that, is he a trustworthy guy? Oh. The director will say, ah, he can't joke with me. Then that's it. So through him, I met a lot of A-list artists at my dispense. So I can sit with them doing their thing. Okay, so it's not even okay, okay, okay. Mm. So is him and I've had the opportunity to work with him too. Yeah. That's why it's not my movie. I work with him once in December. So um an actor again in this Nigeria, I would have said R and D. Okay. Yeah. I love that man a lot. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love that man a lot. Uh, I want to work with every actor as well, mm -hmm. but those were my top list. Uh, directors? Directors. Uh, there is this um, a female director, Abiodun Steven. Is it Abiodun Steven? I don't know, but I think so, yeah. And this lady too, Kemi Atiba. Okay. I can't wait to work on their direction because they were, yeah. the, they were female and if you see their piece of work, I don't know who you are, where you are, you will fall in love with their piece of work. Mm. They put mm. everything on the line. Mm. So I really wish to work with them mm. in that direction. Mm. So those two, female, Kemi Atiba, Abiodun Steven, RMD, Brian Chatter. I've worked with Brian Chatter though. Um, but I still want to work with him, work with him. Okay. Okay. Alright, so um, finally, what, what um, should we be looking forward to now that um, Untold is about to hit, you know, the industry? What, should the fans expect from untold um they should my fans should expect a lot of new thing um i have a culture coming up an epic movie yeah it's on my list and i also have another movie coming up too mm. i have no time to play i think i'm still willing to drop another to shoot another movie before the years runs out mm, mm. yeah so they should just keep their finger crossed I'm not going to do them. This is the time we get busy, time to time. A lot, a lot is coming on our way. But we'll go, we'll go, we'll go culture, we go epic, we come back to a love and emotion, we come back to action film. I just want to touch all the whole area. Because a lot of people say, oh, hey, it's just good on the modern movie, modern movie. So mm, okay. I want to do an, an epic too, just to tell them what I'm capable of doing. Because we, some actors always see the epic is always difficult. Because you have to speak the um, indigenous language, Yoruba, not okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so a lot is coming our way by God's grace. You should keep that finger crossed. Mm -hmm.